Hi guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today we're going to do a walk around video on this 2013 Mercedes-Benz A250 Sport. Now I'm going to run you through the exterior and the interior condition and also some features and um, why you should actually own this vehicle as well. Now starting off the front, you can see that it has that beautiful front grille that the Mercedes are known for having and you can also see that it has this fantastic red accent down the bottom as well which pretty much just screaming at you telling it is a sporty car. You also have colour coded front parking sensors and you also have daytime rain lights in the front of those beautiful headlights too. Now the front of the car, there are absolutely um, barely any uh, stone chips on the front of the vehicle. For 2013, the front of the car presents phenomenal. We'll come around and we'll look at our first alloy wheel. As you can see, finishing the piano black and the chrome. Looks fantastic. There's a bit of mark here and there, but again for 2013, still pre presents really well and almost brand new tyres. I think they might even be brand new tyres on the front of the car. Now you've got your Sport badging on the side, as I mentioned, is an A250 Sport. And then you have those blacked out mirrors, which do fold in when you lock the car. And then you've got colour-coded exterior door handles. Looking at the paintwork again for 2013, presents really well. Now coming to our second wheel, you can see that this wheel presents just as good as the, the front one, actually in better condition than the front one. And again, I think they are brand new tyres on the back of the car too, so really good tyres on this side of the vehicle. Coming towards the back of the car now, uh, you see you've got your A250 and your Mercedes-Benz badging as well. And again, you've got reverse colour-coded parking sensors as well. And you've got these nah, nice twin exhausts that when you put the car in sports mode, makes a really nice noise. Again, you have that red accent down the back, just like the front of the vehicle. Just going to quickly unlock the car now so we can get into the boot. Taking a look inside the boot now, as you can see, you have your Mercedes-Benz mats, factory mats, that have a really nice design as well. And then you've got the cargo um, mat in the back as well, the rub uh, the, yeah, the rubber cargo mat in the back as well, that's obviously the previous owner has opted for, to protect the carpet underneath. Um, now these, I don't believe, come with a spare wheel. We will take a look. As you can see, they do not. So they actually come with an inflation kit um, and a, yeah, so a kit, so if you actually do get a flat wheel, you can actually um, fix it up right there and there. Closing up the boot, we'll work our way around the passenger side now, where again, I just want you to look at the paintwork for 2013, again, how well it represents. Fuel door is on the passenger side, which is obviously the safe side. Looking at this wheel now, you can see again, really good condition on this wheel. This is probably the best wheel out of the three that we've looked at so far. And again, obviously brand new tyres, or almost brand new tyres down there as well. Again, the paintwork, really good paintwork. No major marks or anything that are worth pointing out. And then coming to the fourth and final wheel now, you can see this wheel, the one you park next to the kerb, does have a little bit of rushing here and there, but again, 2013 still presents really well. And again, those tyres are pretty much brand new. So as you can see guys, for 2013, the exterior condition presents really, really well. What we'll do now guys is we'll pop the bonnet and take a look at the main part of this car, the engine. Alright guys, take a look underneath the bonnet now. So what we he have here is a 2 litre petrol turbo engine. Now this engine produces 155 kilowatts and also 350 newton meters of torque. If uh, getting to 100 is something that you would like to know, 6.6 .6 seconds from 0 to 100 in this vehicle. 7 speed dual clutch transmission, so obviously this, uh, the shifts are going to be pretty much lightning. You have a 50 litre capacity tank that you will have to run on 95 or above but good fuel economy with this car, 6.6 .6 litres to the 100 k's. So you can expect, out of a 50 litre tank, you can expect anywhere up to 943 kilometres from a full tank. Guys, now looking inside the uh, A250, first thing you notice in the car, it feels very luxury and also very sporty as well with the red stitching and the rest of the vehicle, just the way it looks. Starting off with the driver's side door now, you do have power windows for all four windows. You have a button here that will also light up to let you know when the windows are locked, so if someone is getting a bit annoying in the back of the car, you can lock them out. All your power and mirror controls here as well, and you can fold in the mirrors um, just using this button here. One thing I didn't mention is uh, when the car actually locks, it does fold in the mirrors itself as well. All your central locking is just above here, so to lock all the doors and all the, um, sorry, yeah, all the doors. Just behind the steering wheel, you have all your headlight controls. You can just leave it on automatic, it'll do it itself, and you have your fog lights there as well. Now, with this handbrake, it is a little different to your normal handbrake. So, pulling this handbrake out will actually turn the handbrake off, and then pushing it in will actually turn the handbrake on. You can actually hear it, and also a P comes up in the little screen here. Uh, your gear selector is actually this one of the right hand stalks. So, to put the car in drive, it's put on the brake and then push this down into drive. That will put into drive. Neutral is in the middle, and the reverse is all the way up, which will show you a really nice reverse display camera, app camera as well. Put the car in park, is just to click this button right here. 
On your left hand stalk you have your indicators and also your wipers, so they're both on the same stalk. And then you've got your cruise control on this stalk here. Now looking at the steering wheel, as you can see, really nice sporty steering wheel, uh, leather wrapped as well, which is really good quality. Bread stitching in the steering wheel too. On the right hand side you have all your media controls, um, so volume and hang up and pick up, and then all your selections for the middle screen here, just using this, um, this keypad here. You also have a button to go back as well. Into the main screen now, actually I'll quickly pan back to the steering wheel. One thing I didn't mention, this car does have paddle shifts, so being a dual, dual clutch transmission, you can shift with the paddles and obviously the shifts are lightning. Moving back into the main screen, as I said, as you saw before, it has a reverse camera, also has Bluetooth, USB, AUX, and AM, FM radio as well. And as you can see, really nice display. It looks like a little bit of an iPad just stuck onto the screen there, which looks fantastic. You do have these really nice air vents in the car as well, again with the red accents. Now the cool, good thing about the air vents, you can just um, turn them exactly wherever you want. And just to turn them off, it's just simple as turning the actual air vent itself. Down below you have all your media control settings, um, so obviously you're probably wondering why there's so many buttons here, so they're actually to choose which station you want. But obviously if you were to call someone, you use those buttons as well. And left hand side you have your radio navigation, which I didn't show you. As you can see there, really nice navigation as well. And then you, uh, they're the, just the rest of your media controls. Now there are a couple fancy buttons down here. You do have your driver selector here, so you can have sport, eco, and uh, I think the middle one is just your normal setting, so just driving the car normally. Uh, then you've got your hazard button of course, eco button so to put the car in the most fuel efficient mode it can and then you've got your reverse parking sensors you can turn them off as well. Now down the bottom is all your climate control settings so just turning it exactly where you'd want the climate to come from and the temperature and the speed as well. Down here you've got a 12 volt socket and a little storage compartment, probably somewhere where you put some coins and then in here you've got a nice big cup holder um, and it actually tells you in there that it's not for cigarettes which I don't think you'd be smoking in this car anyway two cup holders and then you've got this little selector here that it just goes through the main screen and then you've got a back button as well. Inside this nice leather rest, leather rest armrest, I can't even get the words out of my mouth. Uh, as you can see, really good condition with the red stitching again and then inside the actual armrest itself, as you can see, you've got another USB there and a little port in here that you can actually connect up to the screen. Now I'll just get the camera first and a pan around the interior but before we do that, I'll just quickly show you um, if we pan to the roof, we've got a massive sunroof in here in this car. So first you can take off the actual blind, so you can actually open the sunroof after that's done. So as you can see, now the sunroof will open, all automatic as well. So once you click the button once, it does everything for you. And then as you can see, really big sunroof and uh, heaps of air that's going to get inside the car. We'll close that up as it's a pretty cold team, we don't need that open. So again, it'll close itself. And then we'll close the blind which is all automatic again. So now I'll get the camera person uh, to pan around the interior with 78,000 kilometers on the clock and a 2013. You can see that the inside of the car presents really well and it just feels really sporty and fantastic inside the car. What we'll do now guys is we'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Okay guys, again, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully that's giving you a real good representation of the inside condition, the outside condition, and also the key benefits and features of why you should own a beautiful vehicle like this. Now the number to call if you would like to book a test drive is 9907055. Couple of things before I go, I would highly recommend the glass coat on this car. So what it is is a 10% ceramic basing that actually bonds with the paint of your car, gives it a 10% shinier look, and also protects it from things like weather fading, weather oxidization, uh, bug etching, bird droppings and bat droppings as well would really recommend especially on a vehicle like this. Now the other thing I would like to recommend is the premium mechanical protection plan so it is an additional cost but if you are using our in-house uh, finance we'll only adjust your payments by a couple of dollars a week which Mario Julie would talk to you about but the benefits of the plan five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection, 10 years of premium roadside assist and also unlimited claims up to $3,000 per claim. Now one last thing before I go with a 4.8 star Google rating on Google with over 780 reviews, you can be assured that you're buying a fantastic quality car from the right quality people. Again, number to call, 9907055. My name is Jamie, would love to see you in this dealership. Thank you for watching.